Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. You are worthy, worthy of my praise, King of kings, you're the Lord of lords, this is our travail tonight, let your kingdom says Go ahead and begin to sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in tongues. We sing to you in your song, O God. Yeah. <laughs> 
praise you mighty God I tell you the portals of heaven are open mightily over this place the hunger of a man can draw the presence of God and when he shows up you are changed as we bask in your glory oh God let us be changed we are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow we will travail until we see the glory of God arise upon this nation and upon the continent of Africa we travail on behalf of Nigeria the firstborn of God in Africa we will not sell our birthright we strive to see your kingdom come this is our desire Lord beyond everything hallelujah hallelujah I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say Lord let your kingdom come let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be open when his kingdom comes. And then once again we will hear the authentic sound of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion and every noise of tradition and falsehood Not the building of a ministry not the fame of men of God we seek only one thing that we become envoys of your kingdom men who are furnished by the fires of the spirit men of understanding and power men of light We give you praise tonight I pray that the bread of the spirit be broken we contend for the hallowed bread of the spirit show us deep things oh God cause our eyes to be open reveal your glory in strange dimensions Open us up, O oh God. Let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. And may we become mighty men. May we become mighty men.
Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit. We are not chasing after shadows. We are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in him not just what he can give not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah We are the hope of this world. You must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the, the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the Garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity. It was called the tree of life. It had the, the capacity to give life. And that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God. So as we receive the word of God, there is an unveiling of the reality of this life this zoe life that we talk about hallelujah praise the lord i'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed people did not know that this was how far god would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising up there's an army There's an army rising up to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army we're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi the prophet started speaking and he said, there will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know 
that the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin. It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king. Jezebel was a witch. She was not a wife. That's why she reappears in Revelation again. In the book of Revelation, Jezebel reemerges again. Hallelujah. The personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system. Hallelujah. And the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. The prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just imagine the bible says and elijah the tishbite from where he came we don't know we don't know who where he was taught the things that he knew the bible says he was a representative of a spirit elijah represented the sword of god and the bible says when he showed up he showed up for one assignment to conquer that she goddess and afterwards he left who is this strange man because we see him reimagine again Jezebel is still in revelation. Elijah is still in revelation. Where did he come from? Did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite rose up as a cry. The prophets of God were suffering only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called Obediah. No prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of God. And the Bible says in response to their cry, one great prophet, Elijah the Tishbite. A single man who terrorized the system of Jezebel and brought her to her knees. And the Bible says, before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come back again. But he will not come back as a person. He will come back as an apostolic generation. Are you getting my point? And it's in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the Old Testament. Nobody understood. Nobody knew about the training. He was, he was a strange manifestation. The Bible says Elijah the Tishbite and this is the making of Elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and Elijah the Tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system I need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of Elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of Elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of Elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people. The first assignment of Elijah is to come in with a dimension of God that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees. This is why I raised this song. To break every chain. A reemergence of the Elijah spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have... I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge, hallelujah, but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives. We have said this is a season of light. And brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there is a level of light that you carry. You become a threat to the kingdom of darkness. This is what we are training. We are training you to become a light. A light. You will be so bright, the powers of darkness cannot ignore. Our job is to expose the works of darkness. And to bring people to 
accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him God is birthing something strange in these days God is revealing something new in our midst he won't stop he won't stop until we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop first timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron verse 3 forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth the last verse was for for every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving let's just stop there hallelujah we're examining three things tonight tonight we're going to be studying the scripture hallelujah everybody say i receive light when when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your english it's not your degree hallelujah but the degree of light the degree of light when you see the spiritual structure of a believer you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light are you following me now so at the mount of transfiguration jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was are you getting me it was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it and every time we come before his presence by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light and the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in the latter days verse one again please that men will give room to deceiving spirits who are these spirits where did they come from what is their ministry please pay attention brothers and sisters we are in a day an age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency
in every generation there is always a contention of light and darkness there are people who just go around as social beings but there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God if Elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ the continent of Africa and especially our dear country Nigeria Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa we are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality hallelujah and it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church, you can get it and listen. A departure from, not, listen, listen please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God. Everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man. Are you following me now? There is a pattern. God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way. It has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him. So apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits, men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God. And the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith. What faith? Christianity? No. 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 God never called us Christians. What is the faith? The pattern. There is a pattern that our fathers followed. They knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises. And that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern. Otherwise, we are going to lose it and we'll miss it, not just as a continent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Hallelujah. Say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13. Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 
13 Shipa kata balada bakurati shabalana Let's start from verse 23 or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. That man, listen, that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did he start? He started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. It began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eyes close, there is no more light, no more illumination. There's no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept. Hallelujah. While men slept, when they began to intercourse with Babylon, when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of god the bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits are you following me please and they started embracing the doctrines of demons and men slept and then the enemy came and did what so tears this is what is happening to the nigerian church there is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit and all of them are being mixed in our churches in our parishes in our assemblies and right now there is so much confusion it will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of god hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what that means when they sowed it it was there as a tendency but it had not yet manifested are you getting my point now a lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of god but they did not stay in the spirit for the holy ghost to keep walking walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like christ eventually as the ministry started expanding as the membership started expanding they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing verse 27 it says so the servants of the owner came and said sir did you not sow good seed in other words who gave these pastors this message where did this rema come from where did this doctrine these revelations that we have built ministries we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right. Because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God. He said no. The, see he said the enemy has done this. And the servant said to him do you want us to go and gather them? That means should we start pruning? He said ah. In the midst of these tears there are genuine people. They are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation. So let them grow. Verse 28. 29 now he says but he said no lest while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming 
are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest i will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what This is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so this man began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of god in the vision that was shown ezekiel when it was leaving the temple it left slowly but adventure the people would realize and repent hallelujah the first time it happened notice 
what is a woman looking for trying to know the source of a man's strength she didn't say marry me she didn't say sleep with me she didn't say give me money are you following me now she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he would conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes i need you to know that all these women you see in the bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that i want the head of john the baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation this is the error that many people have carried they have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate but the spirit of elijah comes dividing the word of god accurately hallelujah all through scripture we'll do a quick drive if it's possible as we as we continue and let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle the battle of light and darkness are you getting my point now for instance the bible tells us that before the coming of the lord again there will be a repetition of the days of noah did you read that in your bible what happened in the days of noah because you see when satan fell when satan fell there are so many things in my head now. Let, let's just continue wherever we stop. Do you know what Satan told the angels that made them to comply? Don't you think Satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him? Are you getting my point now? because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah it in 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 in, 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 in um uh what now isaiah 14 now i will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits 
familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season help us lord help us lord help us lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when adam and eve when adam knew his wife and she gave birth to cain listen please satan thought that cain was going to be the person that god will use because they, he knew that god would need a man are you getting me so satan entered cain are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that God made man the head of that family. Is that true? That means any correspondence through God according to his structure should go to the man. Notice how Satan changed it. Satan went to the woman. Are you getting me? And everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit, the woman there, that figure tries to usurp it on the man. Jezebel. Are you seeing now? Herodias. And all of these kinds of people. This is what the Bible calls the devices of the enemy. Stratomai, the Greek word. His methodology. It may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons. But the pattern is the same. That means when you sustain the eye of prophecy, you can detect him at once. Are you learning something, please? So Cain is born and Satan makes a bargain with Cain. And Cain begins to manifest another spirit. And then the Bible says how that Abel shows up. And Satan suspecting that God may use Abel. Began to move Cain to kill Abel. Are you seeing why Cain? Why will Cain kill his brother? See, it's time for you to begin to study the word. Not just to get sermons. But for spiritual knowledge. Ask questions. Why will Cain just kill the, his brother? What for? Are you getting my point now? When Cain killed his brother, in a passage of time, the Bible says Cain started building a city. The Bible never told us that Cain was an architect. What made him to start lusting after building a city? It was the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you seeing? Because God wanted to build a city and name it after his son so the spirit of the antichrist through cain built a city and named it after enoch his son and that was where atrocity started from are you getting my point now and then it got to the time of noah god suffered long with them when it got to the time of noah listen to me listen to me noah was a very strange man he was not just an old bald headed man noah walked with god are you getting me noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark the ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth it was a prophetic message are you getting my point now noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation he talked with god he communicated with god he understood the mystery of the flood And that was the reason why listen please listen listen when they came out shem ham and japheth there were eight people again satan started looking for somebody else to enter are you getting my point so satan entered ham are you getting my point point? and the bible says he saw his father's nakedness he did not just see his father's nakedness it's a coded word he saw into the secret of what noah was supposed to preserve why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things 
it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to harm if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through harm go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of kush who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight Bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen I think I was talking to um, the, the the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing I believe in faith but I've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers i trust god that will arrive safely i've never learned how to fly this plane but you guys just sit back sit back and 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 and, and, and enjoy there's jehovah jireh there's jehovah sikenu there's our banner and all of that and then the people sit down and say hallelujah let's just be confessing we will arrive we will arrive plane corporate we are now at 3,000 feet nobody does that are you getting my point now so faith is not a mystery it has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that God said it I may not understand it I don't care I want I don't want to understand it all I know is that Satan is the bad guy Jesus is the bad guy we are for Jesus let's win him this is what Americans are are shipping into Nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people whereas the bible says do not be unaware of the stratomai satan is not an idiot he has a, a strategy this guy stay close to the presence of god are you learning something tonight so you see it, nimrod kush he said go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft nimrod kush for according to bible history are you was the son of kush who married a woman called samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important samiramai was a witch these were people that were possessed they were incarnates of hell are you getting my point 
envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God. Samira might killed Cush, her husband. Are you getting me? And Satan came and interpreted this thing. Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the... the do I call it the genetic code of human beings? Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now, the son, I don't know what, what they're going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen. This was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself. Because in Revelation, when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with, it called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time. You see, God, this time thing, I wish like, I feel like busy seeing this watch praise God <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise God Kai, this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because I want us to get it praise the Lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when Saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word. But I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person i want to show you how they use necromancy and when they do that they invoke that and the bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and saul and saul told her, i said who do you, do you see him tell me about his appearance and saul from and samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is saul and she turned she said ah ah are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like men. men. hallelujah help us lord diviners and different people let me tell you something that happened see most of these entities that you call how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits have you heard that word disembodied spirits what does that mean that means that there are spirits 
that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we we'll have time can i talk to you see the bible says listen demons are not the uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself listen I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen. How many of you have seen certain people, maybe those who do a lot of occultic things, when they leave their body, they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body. You know why? Because they must return the same way they left. If you shift their body, they are not dead, but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying there are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm please listen to me i want to tell you some things that will bless you we said this is a year of light this is solid meat light that keeps you in command dominion will happen naturally you don't claim it light brings you into it are you getting my point we are we are demystifying this deity called satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church listen satan led these demon spirits are you getting i mean angels now are you getting my point now this was what because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves is that true that means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do alone it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right please make sure you are listening this is not let me tell you something with revelation if you get too used to it the devil can use it and kill you are you getting my point he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you will begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help. this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels 
translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human I, one little boy called Frodo that carried the ring, a symbol of authority. All the other kingdoms backed him up. These things are spiritual messages. These scientists through, through zodiac and, and astrology and all kinds of divination, they can peep into spiritual things. It's not that they know the future. Are you getting me? How do I put it now? Help me. Look at me. How many of you know which country is ahead of Nigeria, time-wise? What? What is UK? How can you say UK? Us, let's, let's just assume, please listen, we, are, we don't have time. Let's assume Australia. How many of you know that when Australia is saying 18th, we are still in 17th? So that ability to peep ahead, that's what happens in the realm of the spirit. Because of the regulation of times and seasons. Are you getting my point? It, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us so God Take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place. Take us, Lord, that's where I want to be. Take me to the place, the place you are. A secret, place. a secret place that's where i want to be that's where i want to be let's rush error number one i touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but i just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way i want so i want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be L listen to me i don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even we the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cds free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world 
huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these, these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again he was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell i will show you the mystery of what is happening i wish we have time tonight i would have shown you something powerful It's the strategy of the devil the people are innocent are you getting my point don't be angry at the people they do not even know that they themselves are under deception paul says i was caught up to the third heaven that means there are other heavens there is the astral realm there are a lot of other realms there are galaxies all of these galaxies and planets i hope you know some of them have inhabitants this is the mystery of aliens this is the mystery of aliens there is a lot of story we don't know in the earth they just gave birth to you in the middle of history is what they taught you from social studies to what again social science history government and then you read political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm there are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings they are moving like you they talk you've eaten with some of them in the restaurant they are not pure breeds these are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming i read an article as far back as 19 i have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground is that true they went underground and they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people and there is an altar in the middle when you stand in that altar and talk they will hear you everywhere no mic verified scientifically don't you know there is a world under the earth Philippians chapter 2 that every knee is not just talking about hell alone What have they not told us brothers and sisters that is responsible i will show you how this applies so that you will see how your family got into it your innocent father from the village was just moving around nothing missing nothing broken he entered into what he didn't understand look at what a lot of believers are suffering it today and one of the error one of the error that i wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws many of us have listen listen and i don't say this to criticize there is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message i've said this thing again and again please don't be offended i'm just telling you the truth in love 
there is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things i will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again there are things i will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down and later you say in the name of jesus and all of these kinds of things we will explain it when you understand this i'm telling you you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down say, i want to go i want to no no it's not it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver dosing for instance i lay hands on her and she rose 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we are there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named lazarus listen every time jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience 
You understand? In Jesus' parables, he described men by what they did, not their names. Which was laid at his gate. Are you seeing the contrast now? It says, full of what? Source. Verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs, so on and so forth. 24. Okay, no, 23. I saw something I'm looking for there. Ah, we've gone far. Can we go to 22? Let's start from there. And it came to pass that who died? That's Lazarus, right? Lazarus died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. That's another issue there. Hallelujah. And the rich man also died and was buried. So, two of them died. They've now left the earth. Let's see the drama that happened. 23. And in hell, so a definite place, hell, is that true? He lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off. All right? That's Abraham's bosom, and I'll tell you why. And Lazarus, hey, I had a revelation, brothers and sisters, that opened me up. Do you know? that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that Abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true Abraham slept with Hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic I said come on ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying it is the deadness of his body and this this guy slept with with uh, Hagar and Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place see when i show you these things and as we explore you will see ah, may god help and redefine our christianity you will see that jacob was not a thief jacob was replacing what happened between isaac and ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called god of abraham isaac and esau it's called God of Ab Din is God blind. Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. All right, 22. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus that he may dip the, thing, dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. Um, that flame is not just fire like you know. Because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here. So what kind of fire will torture their spirit body? It's not just the kind of your fire here. Spirits can walk through this fire. Are you getting me this is a strange kind of fire it's a fire that causes thirst when it destroys you it not only are you going through pain but it makes sure that there is thirst it can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst and it's very frustrating look at this guy he didn't say let him send um something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and abraham said son remember in your lifetime you receive good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time hades abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said listen i pray thee therefore father that that would they send him back to the earth are you seeing now send him back to the earth to my father's house so let's see see let's walk with what the bible says is that true do you believe the word of god you believe is the final authority and you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy so let's examine the word of god 28 for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you 
their hearts will melt and they will change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they have they have preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they returned he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf it gives satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it uh, i think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we've won, it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation 
he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out guy hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the Bible talks about a man called Apollos. He was a learned man in Acts 18. The last few verses. And the Bible says, but he knew only the baptism of John. Is that true? And then Aquila and Priscilla came. They called him and they expounded to him more perfectly. And he was humble enough to receive. And then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently. There are lots of people in the body of Christ who are under bondage. Terrible bondage. That innocently came, but is a product of the spirit of deception. For instance, there are many people who believe that if I, let me use a lady, come. If I give this lady a hug more, ah, this, this may be a problem. I've done something I've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because I have to shift to that religious mold listen please I'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of Christ salvation is personal your dealings with God is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow 
do what you want to do. Say anything. So you can be in the church. I can be preaching. And a lady can just come. And I'll just hold her. Give her a nice peg. And say sweet how you look sweet. And you sit down. Those garbages will be part of what will exit out. Of the body of Christ. There is a lot of. Another dimension of imbalance. Are you getting my point now? We have all kinds of carelessness. I believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation. But then there, there are some things that just don't make sense. A man of God comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings, tearing his jeans, sagging them. I mean, I'm not talking of a guest, some a little youth meeting or boot camp. This is the, the, the default. He's the overseer of the ministry. He comes with his glasses, comes and all. That is nonsense. It's a spirit of seduction. Hallelujah. A woman comes on stage and she's preaching. Half of the message, the brothers are not following. Their minds are, they are just struggling. Lord, I will make heaven. I need to grow. This is another balance. So let me balance it very quickly. Because there are a group of immature revivalists arising. In their bid to contend these things in the flesh. I'm just telling people, be as lawless as you can be. That's a sign that we're out of the law. There is a balance. We're a disciplined army. We're not idiots. Liberty is not rebellion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking, listen please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knew it. For how that he was caught up into paradise and had what? unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point? I've had a lot of visions. I live in the realm of visions. I can never run ministry just based on visions. Ask the leaders. Every time I see anything, no matter how authentic the experience is, the word of God must prove it, not confirm it. Prove it. Prove it. The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest, you see Bibles there. Because since it's Bible you want, they keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell, they say, lay your hands on the Bible and swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What 
what do I talk about again? I want to show you something. One other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws. I said it. Everybody say it after me, both inside and outside. Spiritual laws abound. They exist. They are real. As real as physical laws. Look at me. Do you know why God did not kill Cain when he sinned? Because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work. Are you getting my point? And those laws will catch up with him. Are you following me now? when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law? It means it's operating by another law that shields it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Curses are real. Yokes are real. Manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real. They are very real. Listen, these are spiritual laws. What light does for us is to tap into what Christ has done and exempt ourselves. Are you getting me? Let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray. That does it for today. Just one scripture. I want to show you a scripture. Psalm 64. Let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was the psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not verse 5 it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they come they commune of lyingness privately they say who shall see them six they do what they sat out who are these people that search out they go to an extent where did they write it that they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families are you following me now this is in your bible they search out iniquities he said they accomplish a what diligent search they are meticulous when god opened my eyes to this it surprised me are you getting my point now have you read that word blotting out every handwriting so there are handwritings correct there are ordinances the bible says they search out iniquities hallelujah maybe at another time i will continue this teaching of these angels that i told you because when they fell listen they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of 
traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the man of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and it fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening 
Hallelujah. But it will take light, brothers and sisters. It takes spiritual intelligence. During the Monday counseling, I was ministering to a lady. And as soon as she came and I casted out the spirit. And at once, the lady just lay down. And the Lord opened my eyes at once. And I saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit. It was laughing. And I said, the Lord rebuke you. The protocol were here. And the, the lady jacked back up. Somebody would have said, thank you, Jesus. And he just get up and said, ah, that's it. And the demons would say, Kai, men of God of these days, they are not powerful at all. Say after me, the light of God is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the Holy Spirit I become an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demon say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity, when you know this, it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence. Hallelujah. It's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath. You say, what? I'm so impressed that I can bath. What is special about that? You can clap for a baby because you say, this is amazing. Ha! Ah, you bath yourself. The child will say, yes. Yeah. Say, clap for yourself. And he claps. Now, imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished Bapi and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, so, is a sign that something is wrong with you. Bishop, a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah
Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. I want us to take some time. Please pray. As you pray tonight, certain things will begin to happen in your life. Please, everybody participate in the prayer. As you pray tonight, something will begin to happen in your families. You will begin to feel the spiritual shift. The devil must give up on you this year and your family members. Hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues, please. Instrumentalists, help us. Hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues. Please pray seriously. Prayer is a spiritual law. It has nothing to do with convenience. Zakata prakata laba koso prakata baladaraba. You are not filled with the Holy Ghost. As we pray, let the power of God come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries. Rekata kaprakata kalaba kata prakata baladaba. Please pray. Rekete koto prakata balaba. Mabroso to pres kosekete lekete koto baladaba. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Arise, arise, my light, by revelation, arise. Shake of darkness, shake of darkness. Reketeko, reketeleketeka. Pray and say, I'm changing. I'm changing. My status is changing. Reketekelebaha. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days, to the life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer. To the tragedy of my family is already unfolding. This age-long puzzle is opening. Come on, pray in the spirit. Activate breakthroughs in the spirit. You are praying out of the depth of revelation. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about the higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? You are going to say, Lord, by the light, whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. 
let light shine god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of god as seen on the face of jesus let there be light let there be light let there be light let there be light prophesy light light to my family light prophesy light to your exams light to your academics the powers that be they must bow tonight by the force of revelation man shall not live by bread alone man shall live by every revelation revelation brings life it brings light it brings power pray babylon is falling that corrupt system that secrecy of evil that genetic code of wickedness that is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You're going to mention every area of your life one by one. And you're going to say, Lord, the chains, they are broken tonight. Why we sing, play that song, break every chain. Many of you will be surprised. At the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness Chains of fear, chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains, chains of pornography, chains of masturbation, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of joblessness, chains of failure. Chains of witchcraft Break every chain By the power of the blood of Jesus Break every chain We contend By revelation We storm the gates of hell We storm the gates of hell By the power of light We storm Babylon We prophesy your doom In our lives Babylon the great Falling Babylon the great Falling Hallelujah Two quick prayer points Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the Lord Please pair yourselves into two The Bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you're going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft 
and culture I contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost we confront you knowing that we have authority of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death, for barrenness, for miscarriages, for failure. Pray that limitation of poverty, confront poverty, that spirit, that yoke, that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for your financial tragedy. Confront it. It must bow to the power of light for the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend prophesy a recovery prophesy a recovery I call back opportunities for my family I call back I call back their spiritual sovereignty I call back their finances I call back the joy Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is king. Spirit of the way. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Prosata Libariata. De Kaya Kabam Prastaya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I'd like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together. In the Hebrew, we call this Tehila. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> 
and outside. Now according to the unction and he gave us power. I speak to you inside outside territorial spirit I confront you at the count of three you will go you will go. I see a mighty deliverance in this row. One two three go 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 Go, 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 Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now, be exposed now, be exposed. The fire of the Lord outside, the fire of His presence be exposed outside. The Porta Ricate, no demon stands. Every affliction go outside, outside, outside. The power of God is falling. They talk to Bereke, they get the crash, the Kaparia outside. The power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels.
Santo, move across the ground. Come out of her, out of her now, in the name of Jesus. Fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus. Fire upon you, fire upon you. Come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 go. Out of her right now. Out of her. Out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her now. Thou foul devil. I see a snake. Out of her. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out, come out, come out, come out. must open up therefore every power i speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout jesus once and the power of god will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three come out come out come out come out come out Come out, come out, come out, come out. Get your tota. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of her. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. Bring them Bring this girl. Bring that ladies. Bring her, bring her. Just 
Look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out. 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 Come out. Now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at a hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for our destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come. Hello. I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right, right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before, I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, Waka inside. But now, not. Look at water. this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes? This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, how deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. Of the Lord Jesus, your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test me. There's someone come, sister. You, yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing. And perfection. In the name of Jesus. Now. All those with any heart conditions. All those with any heart conditions. Heart condition of whatever kind. Please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in the meat. And heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going through you. Come out of him now. Now foul them. 
I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain. Yeah, come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhists sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Com Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? How sharp pain always. Sharp pain. Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You're free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers? They, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? 
They are yes. Okay, they are yes. yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and will start ministering to people. In mass, what's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? In Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Look. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. Kaparata kaparata balata pai. Krepete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way. And build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger.
eyes. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She's free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. you must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus name. You must go out. Come out. Your exodus out of her life. With a loud shout. I instruct you to leave now. At the count of three. One. Now, now, out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call. Before I finish, just run and come and stand. Huh? You, you know what I'm saying, right? It makes sense to you. Huh? You're not gone. You must go. I see you in the spirit. Go! Come out of her! Be silent. Speak no word. Go out. What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. 
Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I did myself. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh, yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama. Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. 
de Shalehan. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> three. I right, go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We're still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead. Touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you walk when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly 
Life begins when you don't know the way. Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer request quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the sleeping Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Sass. Quickly, please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Kaporata Bataya. Parikata. Go. You're free. Next. Please quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Kaparata Kaparede Go Shatabalia. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Pepsi Cosa. Fire upon you right now. Quietly. Go. Pepsi Cosa, you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. Makaprata Karia. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing but those of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. 
this lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you in Jesus. Where's the lady? I asked her to come. Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say that's here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate yes, Jesus. Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. request please bring them out quickly if you didn't write those on facebook and all our members please if we cannot have it no problem hold on there are two ladies please don't be ashamed okay the lord asked me to call out the case don't be ashamed okay three people you are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no... Okay. You are suffering from this a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding and this is... Yeah, please, we are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We're a family of faith. There's no... This is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her bag for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. expose you foul spirit of darkness now but wetting stops forever it's a spirit she has a dream this is i'm seeing the dream that this lady has now she has a dream they are pouring water and she's standing there later the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees you will look and think she's an irresponsible lady some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place you like talking about people See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right when you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now I've seen you come out of her foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see. Out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You are a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabata Batoso Pregete Recata Pariata by the firepower of the spirit. Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you will feel. Come out of her! Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch. From today, just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can we come? All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabandeke parika, ratos kope talia, regete ke teke teke de belereba, rapatos prenda, rapos kopar, reteke teke telekete, rebako paratos kopa, rapaskia, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now. 
Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh, yes, you must. Go, go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One. Two. Three. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. You can help. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hmm? Please, when people stand up like me, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right you have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus, Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I'd like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it! With all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts. Anointings. Graces. Help me instrumentalist. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive. Spiritual things. Baba Rata, Na Baba, No Bosha, Reke, Reko Shata, Na Baria, Paros, Korekata, Na Preto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just leave them. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level. 
of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move, move. Fire, fire. Let it come like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you. Let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, taka brata rata. Take 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 I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Haya. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I'd like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman don't be foolish within the next 30 days Lord confirm your word if you have sent me let the fire come listen this is what I'm doing I pick you from where you are financially I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night 
I set you free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any building project that your parents are in, in the name of Jesus, within the next seven days, let the finance to continue it. I put it prophetically upon your hands. In the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs. I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics receive grace. For your academics receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We are rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please, package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it. For yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings of it. Many of you do not know. We don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. For yourself and family. 
Hold, just hold it. Just hold it. Just keep it holding. Keep it. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that cause. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go. 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 I break the curse. Go. 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 Lift it up. Go. Go. I break the curse. Go. It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you packet something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Raposata. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Pareta ka kaparoto pretelika. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity I release it upon your life right now I release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the word i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance he said, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. 
there's no shortcut to greatness there's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God everyone please stand up right now I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling all those people that I told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand. please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life He's the one we represent here. He's the one we exalt. There is only one name. Not any man of God. Not Bishop Stan. Not Pastor Jakes. Not Joshua Selman. Jesus and him alone. I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Now look at me. All of you who have come here, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus' name. This is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very, very loud. Say after me, Lord Jesus. It's not a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. I believe you died for me. I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm born again. The life of God is in me. And Satan will go. Go! Was he praying? And what, what was I saying? And Satan will live my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's making Jesus Lord of her life. You're a foul spirit. Out. Out. You're a wicked spirit. Go. This is, this is authentic born again. Authentic one that comes with a dramatic change. Many of you got born again. You were laughing from the beginning to the end. You don't even know what happened to you. This is what they call old time religion born again one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles holy spirit come and live in me from today i am yours in the name of jesus i'm a child of god i break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life. To make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jax is meeting with you tomorrow by by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we're not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. 
Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.